Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to create this look right here using drugstore products. So if you guys want to know how to get this look, just keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, please turn on the bell notification so you can be notified every time I upload and you don't miss out. And now let's get started with the tutorial. Today I'm showing you how to create a drugstore fall makeup tutorial. These are all my favorite products that I love from the drugstore and I have a few new products that I want to try out and they are from e.l.f. I'm trying out the Halo Glow Setting Powder so I can't wait to try that and then I'm also trying the new Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Primer. This isn't new but it is new for me. Some of you recommended this primer so I can't wait to try it out. I got it at Ulta. It is very glowy, I can tell. Very hydrating. My skin has been dry, especially in this area right here. I do not know why. I think the weather change has just been causing this. There's a lot of dry air here in California. My nose is always dry. It's supposed to give you a healthy glow and pore minimizing effect. It has vitamin complex and cranberry water. Since it is very affordable, I love trying drugstore products and using them every day rather than an expensive product. For foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. It has SPF 25. I've been loving this foundation ever since it came out. I did have a darker shade, but I went to pick this one up. This is in the shade 425 Linen. It's a little bit lighter for me since I am not tanning anymore. I'm just gonna dab that on here. Yep, this is a better color for me. The other one was a tan shade, so I couldn't use that in this video. I love this foundation. I kept using it every day for work. Look how perfectly it matches me. Next, I'm continuing with the e.l.f. 16-hour camo concealer. This is my favorite ever. I keep using this every day. This is in the shade Light Sand. It's just perfect. It gives you the right amount of coverage, and it doesn't feel heavy at all. And I love to use it under my eyeshadow. So we're going to prep that today for the eyeshadow. I just apply it underneath the eyes. I'm actually running out of this concealer. It's so, so good. Now I'm just going to apply it on the eyelid. And then wherever I have any breakouts, which is everywhere, I've been breaking out so much. I don't know why, especially on my forehead. What does that even mean? I don't know. I think it's my diet. So now I'm just going to blend that out. My diet is really bad right now, so I can't wait to eat healthy again and just focus on the gym. I've been really lagging it. What's new, right? What's new? I've been loving using sponges now. I don't know why I'm not using brushes anymore. It just looks more flawless with the sponge. And then I don't apply as much foundation, you know? It doesn't feel heavy. I'm going to jump into the new e.l.f. setting powder. This is the Halo Glow. This is a shade light. I will link it down below. I think it's only available on e.l.f. Hopefully you guys can grab it. It's not sold out or anything. Now I'm just going to set the under eye. Ooh. This adds a little bit of color. It looks kind of dark. But they didn't have a lighter color than this. They did have a translucent powder, but I don't trust translucent powders that are all white. They give you flashbacks, so I don't like that. So this is kind of making me look a little darker, which I don't mind. It gives me a little bit of color and I don't look so pale. But on my under eye, it looks way too dark, if you can see. Now we're moving on to bronzer and I'm using the Maybelline City Bronzer and this is in the shade 300. It is a little bit dark for me since I'm pale AF now. I'm using the Sigma Large Angled Contour. This is the F40 and I'm just going to tap it really, really lightly. 
and then tapping it off and then start applying it even that small amount gave me a good amount you know so don't go really heavy with this bronzer trust me i've learned the hard way Since it's really hot, my forehead is always so sweaty. I don't know how I'm wearing this sweater right now because it's not fall time here yet in SD. It's pretty hot. Some days are colder than others. Today seems to be really hot. For the nose area, this bronzer is really intense. So I'm just going to tap it just a little bit. I pinch the brush and then I go in. See how intense it is but don't worry I will go in with the powder now I'm just going to set my face I'm using this Maybelline lasting fix makeup setting spray up to 16 hour matte finish last time I used this was in my first impressions video and I liked it, I just didn't like the spray, it's too intense. So I'm just gonna go like this and catch it. And I'm using my little fan, this is so cute, I got it on Amazon, it's a black cat. Moving on to highlight, for highlight I'm using my Maybelline Master Chrome highlighter. I don't know of any new ones, I just stick to this ones from the drugstore. You guys know I love a high-end highlighter which is from Ofra they are pretty expensive but if I use drugstore I use the Maybelline one and this is in molten gold I do have a lighter one but I don't know I like this one better even though I also have the light one in 250 I'm probably gonna mix them too and I'm using my Sigma high cheekbone highlighter F03 Ooh, that's pretty it's not too light not too dark I love the pigmentation on this and it just looks so nice on the skin. It doesn't cling to any dry patches or anything. It looks really, really nice. Now, moving on to blush. I was debating whether to use my Wet n Wild color icon in pearlescent pink or I have another one from Essence, the Satin Touch Blush in Satin Coral. I don't know which one to use. I'm probably going to use the Wet n Wild one since I did use that last one, the Essence one, last year. And I want to switch it up for this year, so I'm going to use this one here. And I'm just using my Sigma F10 brush. Use my code Adriana to save money at checkout. So if you do order from Sigma, you will save 10% off. So now I'm just going to tap it in. So tap, tap and blend it out oh, i always forget to use these blushes from wet and wild they're just so so beautiful they are like 2.99 they are really really nice so you can't beat that for 2.99 for eyebrows i'm using the elf ultra precise brow pencil i love this pencil this is so so nice compared to the other white one that they have this is perfect right here. This is comparable to the ABH Brow Wiz, so I definitely do recommend this. And today I wanted to do a more natural brow. And this is in the shade Neutral Brown. I believe it was in the packaging, but it doesn't say it here. And now I'm just gonna start applying it on the bottom part of the brow. All the way to the outer corner. I am going to have a brow tutorial very very soon so let me know if you guys want that I probably will do one with the pomade which I love doing my eyebrows with pomades but I will do a separate one with the pencil probably so let me know if you guys want to see that look how nice this eyebrow pencil is and I didn't break off the point either some of them do break off really really easily so this one is very very strong I definitely do recommend this eyebrow pencil from e.l.f. I am done with Z brows. Um, this one gives me a hard time, so I took longer with this one. This one's perfect, and this one's Yankee. 
This is the good sister. This is the bad sister. Next, moving on to eyeshadow. I'm using the Coffin Break eyeshadow palette from Wet n Wild. I'm mostly going to use the matte shades here and the black one. So first, I'm going to start off with this one up here. This is going to be my transition shade. So I'm going to start closer to the brow. This is going to be a very natural look for the fall. Something that you can do every day. These eyeshadows are really, really nice for being drugstore and they're only like $5.99. I'm using this Sigma E40 and now I'm going to jump into this shade right here. So that is very, very pigmented. Make sure you have a light hand with that. And I'm focusing this color just on the outer corner. I know I brought it in a little bit, but not all the way. And now I'm going to take the other brush and kind of blend it out. I'm blending it out until I see no harsh lines on there. I'm going to use that for the bottom of my eyes. Now I'm going to use the black shade. I'm going to use this Sigma brush and it's just an angled one. This is in the E65. I'm just going to use that as a liner. So I'm going to start applying it on the lash line. I'm also going to wing it out as well. Like so. So I kind of make a line first. And then I connect it. Just how you would a cream liner. It's really, really easy look. And then this was created with only eyeshadow. You didn't need any eyeliner, so this looks really, really nice. For mascara, I'm just using the Milani Highly Rated Mascara. So I'm just going to use that right now. And then I'll apply falsies later with you guys. I'm just going to do this side off camera, and I'll be right back. The lashes that I'm using are these e.l.f. Drama Queen lashes. They are so, so nice. I do have the packaging here. They are called Drama Queen. Wow, these are so nice and so easy to apply. They just add the right amount of drama to your eye. For the inner corner, I'm just using this one right here, this light one. And I'm popping that here. And I'm just using this Makeup Shack T14. And I'm going to mix it with this Master Chrome highlighter, the lighter one. Just going to apply a little bit here. This pops a little bit more. So the whole look is matte except for the inner corner. For the lips, I'm using this LA Girl Lip Liner in the shade Cafe. And now for the lipstick, this is in the shade 560 Raw Chocolate. nice so this is the final look right here i hope you guys enjoyed this drugstore makeup tutorial i had so much fun filming it let me know if you are going to recreate it tag me on instagram stories please give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video Thank you so much for watching.